Okay, so good good day everyone. So our topic for today is about earthquake or lino. So as you see in this picture, so makita ninyo, isa rin siya sa mga na-damage na building sa earthquake at yung mahitabo sa Davao City. So they have remind structures and mga condominiums and other na mga structures na damage because of earthquake. So what is earthquake? So earthquake refers to the result of a sudden release of energy in the earth crust that creates seismic waves. So kung makabantay mo na di ba, for example, kana ito kanang timba or kanang balde na naay tubig and then kuana ni mo og kanang hulugan ni bato di ba ang may tabo is naay makreate na mga ring so katong ring mag move siya mag move siya so mo na siya ang ma kuya to kanang ma picture out na to unsa ang kanang seismic wave so mo to ang sudden energy caused by the drop of kanang rock dito sa water okay nag create siya og katong mga waves na those waves okay can create or can um, can create destruction sa mga structures or mga kanang sa environment. <clears throat> Next, what causes earthquake? So, what's the reason nga naman ka earthquake man? So, an earthquake is a cause by a sudden slip of fault. So, fault, mara siya ang kanan itong, kanan itong, kanan tayo, mara siya ang surface, and then, mara siya ang underground, ilalo mga sa earth crust, and then, Diyan between sa ila is na ikan ng halo or empty gay na ikan ng sp nice space. Okay, so ang may tabuha na, okay, ikan ng fold, pag mumove na siya, okay, is it cause ikan ng ground shaking or earthquake. So, mana siya, stresses in the earth crust, outer layer, push the sides of the fold together. Stress build up and the rocks slip suddenly, release energy. So, kay na may halo, Okay, between this surface sa ground and then this earth crust, okay, na chance na mumove to siya and then na ay sudden release of energy. So, na shock na may tabo. So, mo na ay movement sa ground. So, stress in earth crust. So, in um, ka na sa may tawag na ka na sa term sa about sa earth, um, earthquake stress refers okay na term is it is a force that squeezes the rock together okay stretches or pulls them apart or pushes them in a different direction so di ba ka na stress di ba maglabad at kung sa ato pa is maglabad at ang ulo so ma-stress ka so sa so, earth rock excuse me <coughs> So, sa earth crust food, okay, is not yung ginatawag na stress. Oh, I'm sorry. Sa earthquake food, not yung ginatawag na stress. So, muna siya, ang iyang, iyang ginabuhat is ginasquiz niya ang rocks together, stretch or pulls them apart to pushes them in a different direction. So, na, muna na ay may tabot na movement sa ground. Okay? So, let's have history. So, History of earthquake. So, as early as um, 1177 BC in China, okay, na record na sa mga Chinese, okay, na na sila record about sa earthquakes. Okay, so, part na na sa ilang myth and legend since the dawn of man. Okay, so, in Greek mythology, uh, mythology, mythology, um, mythology, Poseidon was the god of the sea, diba? So, yet one of his powers was thought to be the reason of earthquake. So, muna siya ang kanang mga, may mga ideas na, or nanay kanang mga history about sa, kanang asa nagikan ang earthquake. So, nanay sila mga record may nana. So, Aristotle. So, Aristotle was one of the first European to create a theory about the origin of earthquakes. He thought that they were the result of heavy winds. So, um, Aristotle, kanang, nag, siya, kanang, idea niya is, ang um, cause of earthquake is na ay kanang heavy winds. Okay? Heavy winds na mo, kanang mubangga sa earth and that heavy winds mo na siya ang mag-cause na na ay ground shaking or earthquake na may tabo sa earth. So, 
Not much more study was concentrated on the earthquakes until the middle of 1700s. So, so in 1850s, Robert Mallet figured out the figure out means of measure the velocity of seismic waves. So, velocity, okay, ang speed niya, na, na, okay, na tungod kang Robert Mallet, okay, na-introduce niya, or na-figure out niya, means to measure, kung saan pag-measure ang speed sa seismic waves. Meanwhile, in Italy, Luigi Palmer invented an electromagnetic seismograph. Okay? Siya ang first, okay, that was the first seismic instrument capable to detecting earthquakes. So, si Lugi Palmer, okay, siya ang first person na nag-introduce o seismograph na instrument, okay, to measure or to detect the earthquake. And then, in 1910, okay, si Alfred Wigener, or Wigener, okay, published History of Plate Tectonics. Diba, sa kato, previous na ito na topic about tectonic plates. So, si Alfred Wigener, okay, to explain the volcanic and seismic activity. Since then, okay, the seismologists have continued to work at furious pace. So, tungo na ito yung idea about the tectonic plates, okay, and then volcanic and seismic activities na mga, ang mga scientists, ang mga seismologists, yung ano, Volcanologists, okay, na conduct sila o or na focus sila sa study on how to figure out, okay, building better instrument, computers, models, theories, and forecast to study the causes and effects of earthquakes. So until now, okay, wala pa yung instrument na man ang um, na himo na madetect niya na kaya na karus amay tabo exact date but na yung mga instrument mo to kato seismograph na yung madetect if na ID no okay na ID no na may tabo but through records na mga gipangkot sa mga sa mga scientists okay nagistadihan okay na nasila ID yar na if this area na yung may tabo din yan na kana earthquake Maybe in the future, okay, na po yung may tabo na po din na ah. Because, di ba, na sila na, history repeat itself. So, mara siya. Okay, so, there are four types of earthquakes. So, we have the tectonic, volcanic, collapse, and explosion. So, first is, let's have tectonic. So, from the word tectonic, di ba, sa katong tectonic plates, di ba, movement sa earth crust. So, if na ay movement sa itong earth crust, sa surface or sa ground sa earth, okay, nawala siya ang uh, naging mga mahitabo na earthquake. So, more of tectonic. Next is, we have the volcanic earthquake. So, pag mga nakakanda or volcanic, diba? So, it means uh, it involves volcanoes. So, if na ay mga volcanic activities, like may mabuto na, uh, may mabuto na, na volcano, na na, so, na chance na ang areas na surround ano na volcano is na ay ma experience na ground shaking or earthquake, di ba? and then next is collapse, di ba? like for example na building na mahugno or like for example, excuse me, um, na ay kanang cave, di ba? cave under the ano kanang ano mountain under ano is na ay cave under katong ato tukot kay wala na siya mga tree mga kuan kana mga kahoy na na wala siya forest okay is night chance na magcollapse to siya because under sa ay sa ilalim ato is night cave na dili na makasuko dili na makasuport ang katong tinawa support ang uh, ground para ihold ang katong 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 mountain or gato siya na area di ba so night chance na magcollapse next is explosion di ba if na ay mabuto like for example na ay kanang kanang na ibumba di ay ibutang and then may experience nimo na if doon lang ka sa area di ba na ay ground shaking or molino like like for example katong sa Marawi siege di ba so isa ko sa mga naka experience yun naka, naka witness din ko sa kanang paghulog sa bumba and then after this after sa paghulog and then few 
give me a few seconds na ay sounds and then after anong sounds is na din ka ng ground shaking pero hindi na siya hinanaang nakita po atong sa Marawi Sage ka itong Jira okay so mali siya ang type sa earthquake we have the tectonic earthquake we have the volcanic earthquake collapse earthquake and then the explosion earthquake okay 